summer goes, we'll order all our gear. I inventory what's left and let them know this is what you have left, so maybe this is what we should fill in based off of the number of recruits coming in or the needs that, um, that the athletes have based off of the previous year. So I go through it and inventory and everything so it'd be ready for when the guys came. I like to try to help keep that stuff as sanitized as possible just to be proactive in prevent, preventing staff even in the off season. It's a lot of organizing, a lot of cleaning. Game day, depending on the team, it's uh, different types of setups. It generally consists of setting up the field. The facility guys help out with that a lot. So on game day, you start at 5 a.m. You start right away taking care of the ice, getting it prepared, getting the temperature down, making sure the building's cool, make sure the machines are clean, take the boards, and make sure everything's okay in the boards, and, and clean the glass. I lay it out, the uniforms, and check in with coach, make sure there isn't any last minute requests. Something was to come up, like sharpen their skates or work on an edge or stick brace, be there to hand them sticks. If one of their helmets snaps, break, or whatever, just fix it. Just all around set up, having the balls out on the floor or, you know, slip knots. During the game, the guy, we usually have two drivers on, and I usually have a crew of about seven guys who take care of the pins and the nets. They'll drive the Zamboni machine. They'll, um, they'll drag the field. Communication is a big key. You make sure everything that you need to do the job is there, and that's what my, my job is, to make sure everybody has the equipment they need to do their job. I depend on those guys the jobs that go unnoticed and you would think nobody would want to do it. They're the, guy, they're the guys that are actually doing it. There's some things that we, me and Tony, as equipment managers, wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to do if it wasn't for the facilities, people. And it's just being adaptable, you know, you know do your job.